Hello everyone, welcome to the Elite with Desfocus.com YouTube channel. My name is Henry. Uh, today is uh, Thursday, January 16. The time is around uh, 3.45 a.m. GMT. And uh, for today, we will be looking at the chart of the NASDAQ. This is a 45 minutes chart. We can see right here that uh, this rally ended with 3 in blue degree this pullback ended with 4 in the blue degree and then since then we have resumed higher again within the wave 5 in blue and um, the wave 5 of course subdivides into another 5 waves and uh, here we got wave 1 of 5 ending here and this is uh, currently doing a wave 2 of 5 before the next leg higher again to resume 3 of 5, 4 of 5 and then 5 of 5 before we end the 5 in blue so right here, as long as we stay above 86.79, which is this uh, last week's low here, then uh, we are we still favor more upside uh, in the Nasdaq. Okay. Now a couple of things here we can talk about. <coughs> a couple of things here as well. Now first of all, let me look at the larger degree first. Uh, again, this is a partial view. Uh, for a more complete view in all time frames, you can always check our service. We have 14 days free trial. Uh, I'll provide the link in the description of the video. So here um, I put down the 3 and 4 in blue here that we saw earlier in the 45 minutes chart here and I place it here in the 4 hour chart uh, and that will suggest that uh, this is your 1 and 2 and this is the starting point of the rally uh, in the blue degree. So it started from October the 3rd 2019 uh, and as we can see right here we have a nice uh, sub five wave subdivision the rally and technically speaking we do have uh, enough number of swing uh, to end the five waves right because we can already clearly count a uh, five waves uh, so in other words uh, if there is an alternate let for example if there is a a more sort of bearish alternate it's not really bearish to me but because it's just pulling back but let's say it the pullback is getting a little bit bigger then that suggests that instead of ending with 105 here because if again if you take a look here uh, what the what the uh, chart here is proposing is that we are only ending with 105 here so we still have with 205 and then with 305 and so on now instead of ending with 105 we could have ended with 5 here because again we already have five waves but if you look at this uh, structure here now this wave five looks to be a little bit too short it's possible but it's a little bit too short uh, now some of you may be asking why is the wave three looks to be shorter than the wave one here right some of you may be asking why is the wave three shorter than the wave one now the elite wave principle doesn't say wave three must be in the longest it is usually in the longest but the rule actually says that wave 3 cannot be in the shortest, right? Cannot be in the shortest. So this can be a wave 3 uh, and the wave 1 can be longer than the wave 3 as long as the wave 5 here is not longer than the wave 3 also, right? If the wave 5 is shorter than wave 3, then yes, uh, this count here is valid in the elite wave theory. So uh, I think if we are going to extend higher, we need to keep in mind that this extension higher here uh, likely should not really go past beyond this one because otherwise this cannot be one two three four five and but then it could be something else right it could be a nest for example if it is more bullish then this is a one two and uh, this could be another one two for example I can place it like this and uh, you know uh, so this could be one one of three this could be two of three and then it just continues to go up and this is the more like bullish scenario uh, so right here I'm just going to present a couple of different views here so um, first of all uh, the idea that this this one two three four five then again the wave five technically should be shorter than the wave three and also uh, as an alternate we could have ended with five here as well since we have enough number of swing right now now having said that let's take a look back in the 45 minutes chart earlier um, if you look at the decline here this decline right uh, it looks it doesn't look impulsive to me uh, it looks uh, choppy and corrective and so that is telling us that this is likely not some sort of a new bearish cycle even in the shorter cycle it's not really bearish uh, it looks uh, corrective and three swing 
uh, and then we got a bounce here and then now looking to see another leg lower so this is what we call a double three correction which is a WXY so that is typically a corrective structure uh, and so if that's the case then this area here most likely whether we go to new high or not this likely is gonna provide some sort of support for at least three bounce from here uh, of course we can do a little bit bigger pullback I mean that is always a possibility for example we can do a three swings like this bounce and then turns lower again maybe to correct um, this entire rally in 50% retracement let's say right we can hit this area in a bigger three waves or bigger three swings uh, before uh, you know the 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 rally resumes again so the idea is that um, as far as this pivot is holding this pullback is expected to find buyers in 3711 swing which is the way we say we 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 sort of uh, explain how the market operates uh, in 3711 swing and then uh, from there we can uh, still have a chance to resume higher again all right so that is the update for uh, today hope you enjoyed the video please do like and subscribe and if you enjoyed and I'll see you all again tomorrow have a nice day everyone